It's funny, happy candle day! Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to share with you uh, some of these candle day candles today. I'm going to review all day today. I've got candles burning in various rooms of my house. It smells amazing, absolutely amazing. I am enjoying watching everyone's content so much. It looks like Tina Marie got in the store. It looks like Leah got in the store. Um, I wish I was in the store. <laughs> I went yesterday. Like I said, as many of you know, uh, my husband had a stem cell transplant. And um, for him, I'm just trying to like avoid the super crowds. And I snuck by um, the mall this morning. And I'm like, the parking lot's kind of full. So uh, I did not go in. But it's all good because I already have... 24 of the Candle Day Candles, thanks to Bath & Body Works sending me um, 12 of them. Actually, I don't have 24 in my possession. I ordered 10 more, and then yesterday I went in and I purchased uh, Tipsy Elf and French Baguette so I could review them for you guys today. Um, I also have the Santa Pedestal. we got to talk about that. I'm going to do a video on the Santa, pe Santa Pedestal uh, so you can see what it looks like because it's half price. So French Baguette. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty this candle looks burning. This is a really nice morning candle. I got to say, I'm enjoying this one so much. Um... This is the single wick. I actually got the single wick yesterday. My champagne toast perfume came yesterday too uh, from Cyber Monday. Um, but the single wick has got kind of like, kind of like a grayish uh, wax to it. I like the three wick a lot better. Cold. It smells a little weird, but there is hope for this candle. It's actually amazing once you start burning it. Um, so the scent notes on this one, oh, they're upside down. This is hard to read the bottom of these. Slow rising dough, uh, crispy crust, and a pat of butter. So when you go into the store and you smell this one, you might be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think they use the uh, the base of this for the pizza candle, actually. Remember Rome? Um, but I think what they did was they loaded on so much pizza spice, uh, you barely got the dough because that one is really, really odd and really strong. Um, this one smells bready and yeasty. Um when you first smell it cold. It's not the most pleasant smell. It's funny, there's some candles that I can just put on my desk and smell all day uh, cold. Uh, cedar and Suede is one of them. Uh, butter Rub Eggnog is one of them. Believe it or not, Candied Maple Bacon is also one of them. I like how this smells cold. French baguette is not one of those candles. You want to burn this candle in order to get um, the best aroma. So once you start burning it, it starts to smell like fresh baked bread throughout your home. I mean, that's what it smells like. Exactly. Um, I don't think it's very heavy on the butter, though. That's the one um, scent note that I'm kind of like, I don't know. Uh, a pat of butter. I don't know. I think they forgot the pat of butter, personally. <laughs> I think it is just pure on bread. Maybe a little bit of, like, salt mixed in there. Because you do kind of get, like, a little bit of that, like, French bread crusty vibe going. Um, but I'm not getting butter. I've had other candles. Um, buttered croissant from Kringle you get the butter now. Goose Creek's got some nice uh, bread candles too. I think bread candles are actually delightful. It took me a while uh, to get on board with this one. Um, I didn't like it like a couple of years ago and then it kind of grew on me. It's been around in a couple of different um, jar styles, but um, I think Bath & Body Works should experiment more with bread candles. Like Goose Creek had a chocolate bread candle that was absolutely wonderful. Uh, like I said, Kringle does a buttered croissant candle that is just really good. I think there's a lot to be done uh, with bread. Um, and I don't think candle companies do bread enough. I think it's one of those scents that when they do it right, it makes your house smell 
absolutely warm and cozy and delightful. Um, as far as the throw on this one, it's not a powerhouse for me. Um, I would say I had it in my kitchen uh, all morning. I burned it yesterday. I had it in my kitchen today. Um, when you walk into my kitchen, you definitely smell like freshly baked bread. You're like, what is Bonnie baking? Nothing. <laughs> Bunny's not baking anything. She's burning her candle on candle day. Um, but it's not like a high medium. I would call it like a solid medium, maybe a little on the low side. So it's not like a powerhouse of a thrower. Um, but if you burn it in your kitchen, it's going to fill your kitchen um, with the baked bread smell. So I highly recommend this one. If you've never tried French baguette, uh, I would try it today for $9.95. Hey, what the heck? I would get this one sooner than later. I notice it's still available online, um, which is good. It's funny because I keep going out of Bath and Body Works, and um, and then every time I try and get in to look at the site, I'm like, I gotta sit in the queue again. Um, so right now, it looks like oh, there's no waiting. It just says thanks for waiting. Um, we're redirecting you right now. So let me see how long it takes if they're going to redirect me like quickly. Um, I, I am hearing, like I said, there are a little bit of uh, issues with the online shopping. No, it's redirecting me right now. I'm in. Let me see how many candles are left. Uh, we're doing this kind of live today. Like how many candles are left? 144. Six more have sold out. Um, since my last video, which may or not be, may or may not be up. That was a longer video. I did a candle day, um, overview video, but it looks like to me that a lot of the Christmas candles and possibly, um, the white barn candles are starting to sell out. So again, if you want to shop that $9.95 price point, I would do it now. Go in the store, shop online, and, um, you know, get what you want before it's gone. Anyway, let me know if you like French baguette. I will be back later. Bye-bye.